Hi everyone, it's Remy from Maxway. Let's dive into what's new in this release. First, delegated administration. This feature adds more control for user authorizations and allows you to limit access to some resources, such as transfer CFT or secure transport. Previously, a user with sufficient privileges could see all applications, templates, and subscriptions, and it was difficult to restrict this visibility. Go to the Units page. Note that this feature is in technical preview and is not suited for production. Feel free to give us feedback with the link provided. If you are a super administrator, you will see the Add Unit button. Click on it. Enter a name and description. And save. For the purpose of this demo, I need to be able to have the product admin role to change the units of the product. So I'm going to do that. Then assign a product such as Secure Transport to this new unit. Finally, give your secret transport operator the ability to manage products in the new unit. Now, when the secret transport operator logs in, he can only manage secure transport. This is one of the many ways to leverage the new delegated administration feature. Next, a feature request, reusable login credentials. You can now reuse a login password credential as you would for SSH keys, PHP keys or certificates. Previously, login and password had to be entered each time, increasing the risk of a flow or connection error. Go to your product, click the Credentials tab, and then the Add Credential button. Select the login password type and enter a name, a login and password. That's it. The same applies to applications and partners. As usual, consult the documentation to learn more about the specific rules that apply to this type of credential. Lastly, good news for our customers with multiple environments, the promotion feature. You can now promote a template or a subscription along with its dependencies like partners, applications, profile definitions, directly from the user interface. Previously, the promotion was only possible via APIs and had limited support. Go to your template list, select your template and click export. Enter a password to protect sensitive information and click the export button to start the promotion. Now, switch to your target environment, navigate to flows, then promotion. Here you can import your file, enter the password you use for exporting, and click Next. You can see your template, you can rename it if you want, and you can review its dependencies. Once you are happy with the content, click Import. Your template and its dependencies have been successfully promoted to this environment. We will enrich this feature in the next delivery, so stay tuned. All right, there are more new features covered in the release notes page. Don't forget to check it out. It's also the place with the latest list of fixes, limitations, and installation instructions. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.